Hey guys, how's it going? Isabella from Aquazona Cream Services here, and today we're gonna talk about natural ways of UV sterilizing your aquarium. What is UV sterilization? Now, before you watch this video, it would be good that you watch my video about UV sterilization in aquariums, because that will pretty much explain what I'm going to talk about in this video today. Um, so basically, um, in aquariums, we use UV sterilizers to uh, remove the bacterial load, the fungal load, um, algae, and so on from your water column. It's just basically water going through a UV sterilizer of different forms and it cleans your water with UV light. Now in the nature, UV light is everywhere because the streams, the oceans are all under UV light from the sun. So as I said, this UV light reduces pathogens, bacteria and fungus. So in the nature, this is done naturally. Now in aquariums, even though your aquarium would be right next to a window, as a subscriber told me earlier, the window prevents the UV from penetrating, or at least to a certain degree, there's not as much UV coming from the sunlight into your aquarium. Doesn't mean that it won't make your aquarium all green and stuff, it, but it will not UV sterilize your tank just by having your tank next to a window in full sunlight. You'll just get a very green tank because sunlight still fe feeds the algae. Now, what can you do in your aquarium to get the same effect of UV sterilization as in the nature? Well, number one, you get a UV sterilizer. That's the obvious way. But also, um, certain lights very high uh, output lights or LED lights will specifically have a spectrum of UV included in them. Um, for a fact, I know the Aqua Illumination, Kessel, and Radeon LEDs, all three are LEDs, they do have a way of increasing UV in the light that they project into your aquarium. Now that you will have to also check with the height of the light above your tank and how much PARs actually go into your tank and through your tank. But this will very much so lower your bacterial and pathogen and fungus load in the aquarium. If you're using a regular neon light bulb or just any not so good light bulbs that don't say there's a UV component in it, then I would suggest you definitely include a UV sterilizer into your aquarium because this is what we really lack in captivity and why we constantly have outbreaks of ick and random fungus and bacteria. Things we don't see to the naked eye sometimes are present in crazy quantities inside of our water column. And for you to have a successful aquarium, you need the aspect that is out in the wild to bring it into your tank as the component of UV sterilization. It's super important, okay? But that, you don't necessarily have to have it inside of your filter because it can also kill the good bacteria. So make sure it's within your water column without impacting your biological filtration. I hope that was clear enough, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you like the content that I produce. Thank you so much for watching. And subscribe if you really want to be part of the AquaZone team. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.